you know, right now as I speak. You know, today's today's date is, you know, September, I think September the 8th, you know, 2010. You know what I'm saying? People have all these philosophies and these theories coming up in the next couple of years about December 21st, 2012. You know, interesting things coming up. Um, and it's true, man. There, there was a lot of cosmic coincidences that are taking place, you know. But um, the Bible, let's get back to the Bible. Okay, people like... I'm spitting all this other knowledge and facts, but people are wondering, well, get back, get back to the point. I'm probably, probably getting really frustrated with me, and I do apologize. But I have to break these things down before I really get into it because you have a lot of other closed-minded, ignorant people out there that want to judge based off appearance or stereotype or prejudice, etc., etc. So, anyways, the Bible. Okay, we have to know that the Bible, you know, written by man now it was written on we know prophetically and spiritually it's written by god elohim is written by the most high yahweh jah through the spirit through the holy spirit through the ruach hakadesh inspired the ancient prophets the ancient patriarchs the scribes the high priests and to this day jah willing you know um interpreted translated to different languages of different nations and all people of all color throughout the four corners of this earth. But still, that's by God's power and grace. It's by, by, it's, by, it's by the Father's power and grace that you can walk into any local hotel or motel, almost, throughout America, or even right here in Babylon, and find a copy of a Bible, even if it is an altered King James Version, whatever, it's still the Word. Yah willing, it's out there. The light and the truth is out there for everyone who has eyes to see and ears to listen. That's the whole thing. You have to have a natural heart and discernment to, you know, discern these things, to discern what's what's the, what's actually true. You know, so going back to my point, now I'm getting in, now I'm actually getting into the whole point I was trying to make from the beginning, you know, five, ten minutes ago. Um the Torah. The prophets, the writings, this all prophesy the coming of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the gospel itself. Um, these Freemasons, they tried to, even shortly after the rise of counterfeit Christianity in that time of, of the first century Christians and, you know, Christianity, what, they became, what became Christianity is spawned from traditional Judaism. It became Hellenized, it became became altarized and Hellenized by the Roman Empire, by these Antichrist spirit. It was called Catholicism. Now, <clears throat> um, back a little bit. Um, not to put down all forms of Catholicism, because I know there's certain Catholics and certain sects within Catholicism that's more authentic and more true to even another form of Christianity based off truth. In fact, I'm not trying to put down Catholicism in general. I'm not trying to offend any Catholics. But at the same time, I am saying that the first authorization of counterfeit Christianity was that original altered form of Catholicism. Okay, that's the tool of the Antichrist spirit, not being the Antichrist himself, but the anti, you know, messianic or anti-Christ spirit in the earth shortly after Christ himself. Shortly after the, the movement of the first messianic you know, disciples and apostles and first century true Christians, you know, carry that, that gospel light, you know, from the far ends of the earth, you know, from ancient Jerusalem right there in Israel to the far ends of the earth. Vacations, all that could be blessings from Almighty God. But before the rise of Catholicism and counterfeit Christianity, and corporate Christianity, and slave Christianity, these ultimate counterfeits and blasphemies of the actual light and truth uh, took place upon the earth. That same Antichrist spirit and these Antichrist forces um, through the Freemasons and the Babylonians in that time of ancient Rome, which was the Babylonian Empire in control at that time. I'm not talking about ancient Babylonia with Nebuchadnezzar. You know about the different stages of the whole Babylonian empires, um, Babylonia, uh, Persia, Greece, ancient Rome, we know today as America, so we know the whole prophecy and story behind 
the uh, <clears throat> prophecy of Daniel or the prophet Daniel in the book of Daniel, you know, et cetera, et cetera, interpreting the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, the statue, et cetera, you know, coming down to these last of last days. That's another time for another lecture. But <clears throat> uh, these Antichrist forces try to not just edit the Bible because what we know is the modern day Bible is somewhat edited, even job willing. You know, some of it what we know is the, the lost books we call in the Greek tongue, the Apocrypha, but it's relevant information. You know, some of the Greek is just as strong, if not stronger, than some of the Hebrew. Now, if you're speaking of strictly Old Testament, you can't get much more authentic than the than the uh, Aramaic or Hebrew or Amharic. You know, but um, yeah, you have the lost books, you have the Apocrypha, but but the Word of God, the true Word of Elohim, was there for all Israelites, Jews, and Gentiles of all color people. You know, according to the Father's will. And it's his will, it was translated to even what we know today as the King James Version. It's still the word of God. So we have to come to that proper, um, we have to come to that proper overstanding, as some would say understanding, universally, as people. You know, it's not about race, it's not about color, you know, it's about us as human beings. Recognizing the word of God, the true word of God, or the true, the true book of life for all color people, you know, but... At the same time, you know, this book, the Bible, is based off the original black Hebrew Israelites and the first Yehudaites of God's chosen people. And there's a lot of original black history in this book. Ironically, these uh, these devilish forces and white devils and I shouldn't say just white devils, you know, but, you know, devils of all color. But, you know, let's, let's be honest, you know, these Gentile Antichrist nations um, tried to edit the Bible and authorize the Bible. You know, they they got away with taking the name of Yahweh or Jehovah and replace it with the word Lord, which universally there's nothing wrong with saying the Lord or the Lord God or the Lord Yahweh Jah. A lot of times I read my Psalms, I chant my daily Psalms, or I read scriptures and I chant the Lord or the Lord Yahweh or the Lord Yahweh Jah or Yahweh. You know, um, you could also say you know Jehovah God, whatever. And the word God itself, G-O-D, is, is, was replaced, or should I say Elohim, was replaced by, by G-O-D. Now, there's nothing wrong with saying God or Lord God, like I just said, but sometimes I read the Lord God, Elohim, or Ha Elohim, being the one true God. Universally, like Allah or Allahum, the one true God. We know that the roots of original Hebrew and Arabic have, are sister languages. They come from... The original Semitic tongues of Abraham through his sons, both Ishmael and through Isaac, you know, so it's kind of odd today we have these political wars. And once again, that's another lecture for another time between the the Hebrew Israelites and and, and the, the Jews and the Arab nations and Muslim nations. It's very sad, you know, uh, that's also orchestrated by the same Antichrist spirit you know, we know as the, uh, the powers that be for a minute. And their basic simplicities of, of life. But anyways, um, sorry, I had a phone call. But anyways, um, they got away with that, you know, little substitutions of the of the name Hashem that once could not be spoken through the Old Covenant, the name Yahweh or Jehovah God the Father, replaced by Lord or God, you know, Elohim, replaced by God. Okay, that's not really a big deal, you know. The Most High Jah allowed these things to be in effect during the translation, according to his will. But um, when they actually tried to alter and actually alter the word of God itself and change the, the, the original order of the books. And granted, like the original, the modern um, Jewish uh, Hebrew text of the Torah, the Jewish Torah today is in a different order than the traditional Old Testament of what we know as the Bible. <clears throat> but we're talking about like a total authorization of both the Old Testament, New Testament, you know, and um, these so-called scribes, these so-called Freemasonic scribes and Antichrist figures dropped dead. These Freemasons started dropping dead. It was like a plague of wrath and judgment from the Old Testament 
Just like you read about the Philistines that captured the Ark of the Covenant and they just got diseased with tumors and started dropping dead and their little idols, you know, started breaking down and bowing down before the Ark of the Covenant, like real wrath and judgment, wrath and judgment type things taking place. So these uh these Antichrist figures and these Freemasons, they decided, hmm, these devils in the flesh decided, hmm. <clears throat> okay, well we've already edited a couple of books from from the Bible, from the book. You know, we know the Bible is Greek for book, you know, and Yah willing, you know, there's also <clears throat> there's also a cosmic coincidence we know today is the basic instruction before leaving Earth, you know, a lot of uh people and to knowledge of self use acronyms, you know, and there's there's a reason for everything. But it is the holy book. It is the true holy book of life, you know, God's word. And until we can really embrace that and believe not just be like Eve or supposedly believe but really believe and know that is the true word of Elohim the true living word of God and the book of life you know of Jah word you know food you know, actual spiritual food for our, our, our spirit you know we have to eat actual food for our flesh we have to eat you know food to take care of ourselves and be nourished to feed our flesh man we have to study the word and meditate in the scripture to feed our spirit you know those who are born again those who truly believe and know you don't question the word of god of being the word of god but then there comes that question of like you know colonialism and these you know slavery and freemasons you know they want they used catholicism and other forms of so-called christianity to manipulate and enslave Ironically, the descendants of God's own chosen people of Israel, who are still under that generational curse, you know, less than 400 years ago. But that curse, is, that curse has been lifted, man. That spiritual veil has been removed. And now people, both black, white, to be caught up in this whole spiritual Egypt. They're choosing to be caught up in this whole Babylon system oblivious to everything just flowing through like everything's supposed to be you know a peachy king but it's not shalom salam